lot of veterans that take my class as well. It's a pretty popular class that's always maxed out. And we go over a scenario about having weapons on campus. And the scenario is, let's imagine that we're here in this class and you start hearing some shooting happen outside. And then you start hearing more shooting. What are you going to do? Well, you get a variety of responses. You get some that are like, we're going to lock down right here, Professor. If anybody comes through that door, then we're going to shoot. So, okay, well, what if that person is not the perpetrator? How are you going to be able to distinguish that? Others say, well, I'm going to go outside and I'm going to see who's shooting. And then I'm going to fire back. Well, what if that person is not the perpetrator? How are you going to respond? So we go through this little exercise. And ultimately what it comes down to is that no matter how trained you are, When you are in a classroom and you don't see the beginnings of a crime occurring, then how do you know who you're shooting at? And the answer from the students is, I don't know, professor. That's why there shouldn't be concealed carry weapons on campus, or at least in the buildings. Because you don't know. You could actually be shooting somebody who thinks that they're protecting you. Now, I know everybody here, you know, those who have gone through concealed weapons training. I plan on going through it myself, right, because of that nasty death threat that I got. But I know all of us here think that, you know, we're we're the best shot, right? We're the smartest thinkers. We're We're the fastest people to to swallow what's happening in our own little world. Well, guess what? You're not. And there's a difference between firing at an insurgent while you're in Afghanistan and sitting in a classroom having to think about firing on a U.S. citizen or one of your classmates. You don't know. Stop pretending like you do. And if you haven't been a professor... Stop acting like you know what you would, how you would react if you're a professor. Because you don't know. Especially if you teach a class like mine. Could be a little contentious. We go over racial profiling issues. We go over race discrimination. We go over other things that occur in criminal justice. What happens if I make a student mad at me? Student can get upset with me. Student might want to shoot me. As a professor, I don't want to face, I don't want to have to face that situation. And you're right. There are some gender inequities on college campuses. This is true. And universities have been faced with that situation for a long time. That's why we have call boxes. That's why we have safe zones. That's why we have the whistles. Because you just don't know who you're going to be shooting at. And you don't know if you feel like you're going to be raped or if you feel like someone's been following you around or if you feel like you're in trouble and when you may actually not be, that you pop out that gun and you pop pop around at somebody. And you might have just made a mistake. This is an important bill. We do not want to have students armed in class Shooting at people, maybe shooting at you. I am urging a yes vote on this bill. This isn't like the other ones, guys. It's not. I'm urging an I vote on this bill.